You, uh, you moved into a neighborhood called Little Mogadishu, yeah. and you joined a gang and you were arrested 15 times for... Yeah, don't do that at home, kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, this is what I'm trying to understand, because we've known each other through your charitable work. And that's how I've known you for a number of years, and I can't picture it. Like, who was Kanon at that point? Yeah, just me, really, but just a, uh, uh, me without a, without a voice. Imagine uh, my music and everything that you heard in those songs bottled up in one person with no way to express those things. You know, what kind of person would that be? So I really was lucky that music kind of came to my rescue. Also, the neighborhood that I was, um, that I came up in, in Toronto is, is known as it's Dixon, is what it's called, this neighborhood. And there's just a bunch of Somali kids that lived there when I, when I was growing up. And um, unfortunately, the Canadian system didn't understand the Somalis, and nor did they understand our, our um, love for uh, socializing. And so when, instead, they called it loitering here. Okay. And so that was actually a charge, you know, you could, you could, you could get trespassed from hanging out um, by the courtyard of the buildings that we lived yeah. in. And so when 20 of us hang out in those courtyards, police cars used to pull in and be like, uh, we, we came last week and we said you were trespassed from this area, so you're going to jail. So just haul us in. And so it was a very difficult and confusing time when we first came.